Hello you guys, this is going to be your weekend tarot guidance reading for January 28th through the 29th, 2017. So I'm just going to tune it into Saturday and Sunday's energies to see where we stand on these days. The Four of Swords. Challenge and lesson for the weekend. Challenge and lesson for the weekend. The Five of Swords. Okay. Suggested approach or action to take this weekend. What is our suggested approach or action to take? Five or the Ten of Wands. Sorry. Ten of Wands. Focus, where should our focus be, which is of our highest good this weekend? The Hierophants. And the outcome this weekend. What is the ending result for us this weekend? If guidance is followed, Divine Spirit, what is the outcome? The Seven of Cups. Right. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. So overall energy we have is the Four of Swords. So with that being our overall energy, this is a period of contemplation, a short period of contemplation and introspection. Um, I'm getting just reevaluating some things trying to find or I'm really getting trying to make sense of something or multiple things because it's like you're seeking wisdom or you're seeking some sort of clarity out of these situations or a situation you're dealing with this weekend so I'm getting to utilize this new moon's energy um swords is represents the air and Aquarius is an air element so um focus on Anything that comes up to the surface, I'm just getting, take some time out to meditate or just really sit with yourself, whatever is, whatever is, um, on your mind or on your heart to look at whatever comes to the surface that you find important to review at this time, whether it's situations, people within situations, your dreams, where do you want to be next month, next year, something important to focus on that. Um, the challenge within this energy this weekend, we have the five of swords. So I'm getting that your mind might just be all over the place. Like you don't know what is what, what's true, what's false. Um, is this an, even something I should be focused on? Do I want this? Do I want that? So I'm getting to find balance within this. Don't allow this energy to throw you for a loop. I'm getting just go with the flow of where you're going. Whatever hits you, just sit there with it for a second or a moment. Don't try to throw it away or not look at it or focus on that thing or, you know, make too many assumptions about certain things. Just allow these energies to pass. This is something that's passing. Okay. Your suggested approach is the Ten of Wands. I'm getting to just go with the energy, no matter if it, you know, it might I'm getting it's not that difficult as it might appear to be or seem to others. Certain things might seem very permanent, some difficulties. They're not that that serious. Again, this is energy that's passing. It's like end of a process or a cycle. So this is something that's soon to be over. The battle is almost over. So approach the situation as though this is something that will soon pass. It's not going to last forever. It's just a short moment in time, and I'm going to get through this. With our focus, the Hierophant, being the only major arcana here, um, the focus, it needs to be on what do you truly value. What it is that I'm getting what speaks to you spiritually. Where do you keep being pulled or called towards, and why? Okay. Again, not to make any assumption as to why you're being called towards something or someone or to a certain thought or feeling a certain way about something, but to just look at it. Simply 
review the situation or this thing? And what do I value? Do I really value this, that person, myself? More than anything, is this the best for me? Is this in my highest good? How is this going to work for me later on down the line? Um, it's all about, I'm getting dignity, pride and dignity. I don't know why, but to really focus on these things, these are, I'll try to say key in things at the same time. These are key things to look at, I'm getting. With the outcome, you have the Seven of Cups. So the outcome... I'm getting is really looking at everything that's on the table for you. I feel like there's so many opportunities that lie ahead. There's so many different energies. It's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know which path to take. I don't know who to let go of or who to choose. I don't know if this is in my highest good or if this isn't in my highest good. I don't know. I got a lot of things that I got to look at. Or this is just like a lot of energies that are that you're dealing with on an emotional level, you're feeling an attachment to so many different things, you know, whether you're focused on where you want to be career wise, where you want to be romantically, um, you know, deciding whether or not you're ready to move. It's so many different things that it could be. Um, do I really see things in the truest way or am I, am I deceiving myself? So it's like, you're looking at all these opportunities and some of you are maybe faced or confronted with fears. And Spirit is saying there's so many things for you to choose from. Not only to choose wisely of these things, but what really calls to your heart. What really is of your highest good. And to take fear out of it. So I know that's a little um, vague. So um, I'm going to start using this deck um, this is just major arcana cards. I actually got a color your own tarot deck. So um, I will just use this as additional guidance or information for anything else that spirit really wants us to know. So don't judge me because I colored these. I'm not really that good. <laughs> at, I mean, I know it's just coloring, but I'm not really that good. Like the color schemes and all that stuff. So. Unless it's, you know, dressing myself, then that's different. But, like, coloring, I'm not really that good at it. But, um, yeah, just a little inner child thing that I thought would be cool. Oh, wow. Um, for me to try or at least do. So, let's see. The Emperor. All right. So, um, the Emperor card tells me that this is all about self right now. Focus on what it is that's in your highest good, your best interest. Getting to um, step into your truth, step into your power with these things. Take everyone else out of it. If you could choose something for yourself without anyone judging you or what someone might say to you or think or feel about it, what would you do? How would you go about those things? What is true for you? What do you honestly feel is best for you? If you could have it your way. And I feel like that's what needs to be reviewed. Okay. And I'm going to pull a Romance Angels card as the love advice or guidance for us to take for the weekend. And this could be um, friendships, you know, relatives, not just romantic. Okay. very soon so you have to really decide what you want when it comes to the matters of the heart whether it's romantic or it's just something that is very dear to you and is very important that you value you need to clearly decide what that thing is or what those things are to you um, so that things can get moving I feel like spirit is trying to get you to the finish line and get you towards this new beginning but you have to be clear on what it is that you want. Some of you could be sending out mixed signals of what you want. And Spirit is saying, well, this is the perfect time to really clarify those things. Okay. So the card says, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So it's like things are waiting for you on the table, but you have to make a decision. You have to clearly decide what it is that you want. All right. 
<clears throat> so that's your reading, you guys, for the weekend. I hope that that resonates. I just want to share my cards with you guys. Um, my colors, they're a little crazy, but that's just me. <laughs> I think these are really fun. I got this off Amazon.com. It's called Color Your Own Tarot. I think that um, a lot of people would enjoy these. It does just come with major arcanas, like I said. I'm not really that patient with stuff, so I wouldn't be able to... I couldn't imagine myself coloring the whole tarot. Like, seriously, no. But um, these are really fun, especially if you just, you know, want to just express yourself. You're bored or you like art or you want to just use your inner child, I guess. It's fun. And I use a lot of crazy colors, like psychedelic type of things. I thought it was kind of cool, so... Yeah, I would suggest this deck if just for fun. You can just have it just to have. You don't have to actually work with them. But they are pretty dope, I would say. And I'm I told you I'm crazy with my colors, so this is my favorite, the star card. Um but yeah, I will be using these for my generals just as like additional advice. Any important messages that spirit has, I will um, be sharing those. So that's it, you guys. I hope that this reading helps you. It brings you clarity and much more. Until next time, you guys.